Well, questions have been raised about donations received by Stuart Nash from the timber and forestry industry. Nash is overseeing an inquiry into land use, including forestry slash, but he's received thousands of dollars from the wood processing industry over the last three elections. And he's now under pressure to pay it back. Nick Truebridge has this story. Our interactions with Stuart Nash today started like this. How can you oversee an inquiry into land use of forestry slash when you... Not keen to talk donations. Later, he relented. All my donations to, uh, from those in the wood processing sector have all been declared, so it's not as if I'm hiding anything from the public or anyone at all. Still, the Forestry Minister receiving campaign funding from one of the very sectors he regulates is causing concern for academics. I think it does create concerns, yes. And federated farmers. It does make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Nash is now one of the ministers overseeing a land use inquiry announced post Gabrielle and with a big focus on forestry slash. My integrity is really big for me. If I thought there was personal interest here, then I would manage that appropriately and, and I would work with the Cabinet Office and through the Cabinet Manual on that. Public records show just how much Nash has received from the timber sector over the last three elections. In 2020, he declared just over $19,500 from such parties. In 2017, $5,000 and in 2014, $31,000. I think those donations that Minister Nash received should have been returned if for no other reason to avoid the appearance of any conflict of interest. No, I'm not going to do that. I mean, part of our political process is going out there and raising money so you can run a campaign. As mentioned, I've, I've hidden nothing. Um, every donor that I've received a donation from is all recorded, it's all public for people to see. But Federated Farmers Toby Williams says there's unease over Nash's funding. The minister's supposed to be impartial, you know, and be the minister for New Zealand. Nash confident he's exactly that. I'm keen to work with any sector group, farming, forestry, uh, environmental NGOs, to come up with the right decision for what is best for all our communities all up and down this wonderful country. All in an attempt to avoid a repeat of this. Nick joins us now. Kia ora, Nick. Well, has Stuart Nash spoken to his boss, the Prime Minister, about this issue? Yeah, it's a great question, Mike, and we did put this to Stuart Nash today, asked him if, uh, even though these uh, donations are a matter of public record, whether he raised it with the Prime Minister once this inquiry was announced. And the short answer from Stuart Nash is no, he didn't. But he has been at pains to point out today his experience in this industry and the fact that that makes him the man for this job. He's got uh, a, university de a university degree related to forestry. He's also spent time with various companies, whether they be forestry companies, Companies or processing companies uh, and certainly I think it would be fair to say that Stuart Nash after the last couple of weeks he's had where on one hand he's lost, lost a portfolio on another hand he's faced questions over his judgment that he will be eager to simply get his feet under the desk in this forestry portfolio and get on with the job of that inquiry Mike. Nick, tēnā koe.